Hello everyone, my name is Prasanjit Mishra and I welcome to Beyond Plumbing Talk Series hosted by Flogart Plus. Today we have Mr. Sandeep Kumar Roy Chaudhuri, Director of Sanitary Syndicate Private Limited, Kolkata. Let me first take the opportunity to introduce him. Mr. Roy Chaudhuri is a science graduate of 1986 from Kolkata University. He then pursued his career in commercial area and is a fellow cost accountant and did his master's in business administration with specialization in finance from Jadavpur University in the year 1990. He has a vast experience in plumbing industry for over one and a half decade and is currently the director of Indian Plumbing Skill Council and ex-chairman of Indian Plumbing Association. He is also member of National Executive Committee of Indian Plumbing Association and Zonal Chair of Ishtar. Mr. Roy Chaudhary is the recipient of prestigious Navaratna Award in Plumbing given by Indian Plumbing Association and got felicitated by the Institute of Cost Accountants of India in 1918 for promotion of responsible and sustainable businesses across all spheres of economic activities in India and beyond. The topic today is what plumbing look like in smart cities of the future. Hello sir, how are you doing? Fine, fine, Prashanjit. Thank you, sir. So to start with, may I request you to tell us a bit about yourself. Prashanjit, you have touched almost all aspect of my career. I have joined my family business in plumbing and I grew up in a plumbing business environment, you know, and plumbing has now become more a passion than a business. This is what I can tell about myself. Thank you, sir. So can you share your views about this Beyond Plumbing series? See, Prashanjit, I feel uh, it is a great initiative taken by Flowguard Plus uh, where we can have a platform to share our thoughts and views with you all. I believe this webinar series of yours, Beyond Plumbing, will definitely help the plumbing community to know more about the plumbing nitty-gritty, you know, and... Uh, plumbing as you know is still a neglected aspect in india and i welcome this initiative which will definitely support good plumbing practices with this initiative we can get an opportunity to share our knowledge and scope to learn more from each other thank you sir thanks for the insight so before we start our topic uh, you know i'd like to shed some light on our brand flogart for those who don't know flogart plus is the pioneer in cpvc technology and we are world's number one cpvc plumbing system in indian market flogart plus supplies cpvc compound to its partners which are prince pipes and fittings limited and ashirwad pipes private and they manufacture the finished products cpvc pipes and fittings which are co-branded with their brand name along with Flogart. So now coming back to today's theme, today the topic, as I told earlier, is what plumbing look like in smart cities of the future. So Mr. Roy Chaudhary, can you help the audience to understand what smart cities are and how smart cities and homes are need of the hour? See, Prashanjit, uh, as you know that smart city or uh, smart homes uh, or offices, as you know, focuses more on conservation of water, low air conditioning load, uh, power load I mean, and maximization of the na uh, natural resources, utilization of the natural lights, etc. The pandemic has drastically modified attitudes towards many aspects of life and staying homebound during the pandemic has increased the demand of the concept of smart homes, which ultimately gives uh, uh, makes a uh, smart city as well. Uh, with the hybrid working models uh, become the new norm, technology integration is essential to maintain the smooth balance between work and personal commitment. Our on-ground experience suggests customers are increasingly keen on adopting new technologies to make their homes safer, secure and comfortable. Uh, smart homes, which aims to maximize the use of the natural resources, offer superior living experience than maximizing the comfort. As far as plumbing is concerned, I should say that a smart home should aim to minimize the wastage of water by using low fi uh, flow fixtures and reusing the water uh, wastewater 
for flushing, gardening, and car washing purposes. As a responsible citizen, we all must aim to maximize the use of natural resources uh, as, uh, uh, as far as power and water is concerned, mainly. Prashanjit, over to you. Thank you, sir. Thanks a lot for the great insights which you have given. Uh, I move on to ask you the next question is, what role does plumbing play in smart cities? Plumbing, as you know, is directly related to health. With, plumb, uh, with good plumbing design, we can reduce the chances of waterborne diseases. Study has shown that a lot of epidemic has happened due to bad plumbing practices. Irrespective of smart homes, water quality and safety should be the prime importance in all projects. As you know, who estimates that 88% of diarrhea diseases is attributed to unsafe drinking water supply and inadequate sanitation and hygiene. Over to Prashanjit. Thanks for your valuable insight, sir. I'd now like to ask you, uh, what are your recommendations for good plumbing and healthier living? See, Prashanjit, good plumbing is a blend of planned and sustainable design and choosing the right material for proper execution. We must also keep in mind what technology suits the Indian perspective. For example, in India, we use the chlorination process for mass water purification. Keeping that in mind, we should select plumbing pipes and fittings which are not susceptible to chlorinated water condition. Prashanjit. Moving ahead, Mr. Roy Choudhury, uh, what are your views on uh, the various piping material and some advices you would like to give to the listeners? See, choice of piping material matters the most. As you know, that now a lot of variety of piping materials are now available in the market. Some piping materials are not as smooth and support more bacterial growth, have higher biofilm uh, formation compared to CPVC. A properly installed plumbing system should last for generations, you know. A lot of water uh, goes waste in leakages from taps and pipelines. If plumbing is not done rightly and as such, uh, plumbers need to be properly educated and certified plumbers should be used. Uh, in this context, I like to mention that uh, it is an initiative of Government of India through uh, Water Management and Plumbing Skill Council is imparting training and subsequently certifying the plumbers as per their levels to provide certified plumbers for the plumbing ecosystem. Modern plumbing products help regions affected by droughts and water shortages uh, to use the water more efficiently. We have a dependency on clear water that cannot be overstated and accordingly to choose plumbing material we must know the quality of water which we are getting in the system. Prashanjit. Thank you sir. My last question will be may I request you to share three key points which people should remember when it comes to plumbing. Prashanjit, a plumbing system consists of three parts. An adequate portable water system, supply system, a safe and adequate drainage system, and ample of use of water efficient fixtures and equipment. Apart from use of certified skilled plumbers to install plumbing system at home uh, can uh, help in elimination of the installation lacuna, which can be a concern uh, later on as far as the health is concerned. You know, by incorporating smart plumbing for both uh, home and commercial spaces, a responsible citizen of India uh, uh, profits have the opportunity to not only impact the environment footprint, but save money in long term by reducing the wastage of power and water. Smart plumbing is making its way in homes and cities. The reality of now the cities and homes is fully on automation, which is not in future, but it is now, which we have to adopt. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thanks. Thank you all for the valuable. Uh, thanks for the valuable inputs you shared with us today. And to conclude, I would just want to highlight the main points which you shared. Uh, one is plumbing is directly proportional to health and improper plumbing installation, which I uh, recollect uh, has been told by you. Uh, improper plumbing installation and negligences can impact our health a lot. 
selection of right plumbing technology as per indian perspective is very very important incorporation of smart plumbing practices is the need of the hour and finally we require skilled plumbers for proper plumbing installations thank you thank you all for being with us today we request you to stay tuned to our page as there are many more exciting talk series coming on our page do like and follow us on the instagram and facebook and don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel thanks a lot thank you very much thank you thank you thank you